Hello guys, what's going on? My name is Stone and welcome to my channel Accelerate. And in this week's episode, I'm very excited to show you guys how we're going to track the COVID-19 pandemic using 3D maps powered by Excel. So guys, this is an awesome uh, visualization of your data if you've got uh, geographical data. And uh, as you can see, this is a complete 3D map of my data set that I'm tracking currently of the COVID-19. So you'll see uh, the blue will be the cases and the yellow will be the deaths. So you can zoom into these maps and you can see all the countries and the cases and deaths represented by the blue and the yellow bar chart effectively. What I also have is a very nice uh, little 2D chart here just so you can uh, open it up to show your uh, top uh, locations by cases. So there I've got United States. This is the top one as of the 3rd of November. So let's go over the ocean here and visit our neighbors here in North America. And basically you'll see there it is, the top location for COVID cases and deaths as well. So you can hover over these data sets. It shows the cases 9.2 million as of the 3rd of November, as well as the deaths. If you hover over the deaths, it's 231,000. And this is for all the countries. And which is also nice is I've added in a, a timeline. So if you press this little play button down below, it will show uh, the data from the 1st of Jan up until the 3rd of November. There you'll see it picks up the cases as the data goes on. So there's a, guys, there's a very nice functionality that I've added into Excel uh, using the 3D maps. And if you've got geographical data, uh, this is the best way to visualize uh, visualize these type of data sets. All right, guys. So without further ado, let's get straight into this one. But just before we get into it, just hit this little subscribe button so I can bring you more of these awesome Excel videos. So guys, I've downloaded simple data from the web. I'll put in my uh, link down below where I got this data. I'll also put in this file for you guys. Straightforward data. We're working with dates. We're working with the COVID cases, the deaths, the countries and territories as well. We've got some population data as well and the continent. Guys, it's as easy as clicking on a button. So here on the insert tab, there will be a 3D map a button you can press for your data. If you don't see this um, button, I'm using Excel 2016. This is an easy fix. You go to file and then we go to options. And once in options, you press on the add in button here and then you're in Excel add ins. You click on the drop down and go to com add ins, go and then make sure these three boxes are ticked. The power map for Excel, uh, those three boxes, make sure it's ticked and say OK. Then you will be able to see your data. So let's select the data. So first rule of Excel is you need to select your data. So. You, we're going to highlight from A1 up until K1 and then we're going to do is a holding control shift and down that will select all the data in this set and then insert tab here and we're going to click on 3D map. So I've already got a tour here but we're going to start a new tour. So what it's going to do is it's going to give you a blank space. Here we go, I'm just going to pull it over here for our video and basically this is our countries that's been populated and there's a little scroll button here and now we need to go to the layer pane here. So in the layer pane, this is where we select our fields. So basically we can select here in the field list and once we get to the field list, uh, just want to click on the field list once more and we're going to track cases. So you literally just drag and drop your cases here in the height column and it should populate. I'm just going to close off this one and there you can see they populated very nicely our cases. Same with the devs as well. If you want to track the devs, there will be a dev. Just drag and drop it into a height and you'll see it's a stacked column chart now. And if you want to change it, you can change it here to a bar chart. So it shows next to each other as opposed to on top of each other. I'm just going to zoom in here into India. So there you can hover over the cases as well as the deaths and then uh, it will show for all the countries. I'm just going to hover here over Europe as well. So this is very nice functionality built into Excel. And finally, it's a little bit cut off from your screen here, 
because of my little video here but there you'll see there's a time column as well you can just click on the time column and put in the date rep as well so that will um, add in the automatic timeline as well for your data so that enables us to press the play button and you will see the data being populated as the time goes by which is very nice functionalities very awesome up until November it should show the data and the final thing that I want to show you guys is if you click on the 2d chart button here on top it will automatically populate a nice 2d chart showing your top 100 locations and you can use the scroll bar here to go through all the locations as well guys this has been so awesome please uh, make sure to hit that little like button and a little subscribe button down below so that i can bring you more excel awesomeness and then guys until next week from my from my side stone and accelerate cheers